space explorers in between the lines in three, two, one, go. Here we go in match number 11. We have Femtech Fatal. They're looking to get off of that hab number two. Let's see if they can do it with five seconds left here, and they're off. It's a few extra points there for the Red Alliance. Meanwhile, we have two robots off on the blue side, one left behind Team 2095 on the Blue Alliance left on the hab. So 15 to 12, Red Alliance advantage coming into teleop period here. Femtech Fatal looking to load up that cargo ship with some cargo. Putting it down inside of the cargo ship is Femtech Fatal. Iron Devils eyeing up that player station, seeing if they can't get something going over there. Meanwhile, over on the blue side, Team 2095 is also loading up the, a hatch panel. All while 5181 scouts out the field to see where they're going to put a piece of cargo. 96 seconds to go here in this match. 5181 trying to load up a piece of cargo as is Femtech Fatal. They slam it down. With 86 seconds to go, we have a 21 to 20 match right now with the Red Alliance just barely ahead of the Blue Alliance. 2095 heading back to the hatch player station, loading up. Just trying to get it stuck on that hatch, but it's not moving. Slamming into the wall, trying to get it loose. 22 to 21 now with 64 seconds to go. Blue Alliance has the lead. We have some stoppage here on the field. <laughs> Seems like we have a few Blue Alliance robots without any blinking lights, which might mean that the power is off. We'll get someone to take a look at that in a little bit here with 42 seconds to, to go. We got a 24 to 22 Red Alliance lead as Femtech Fatal loads another piece of cargo onto that cargo ship. We have 31 seconds to go. Let's see what kind of end game results we're going to have over here. 709 goes over to their Hab 1. They're going up. 709 hopping up onto that half three. They got 17 seconds to go. Let's see if they have enough time. The bumpers have to be up above the line. They cannot be supported by any other half. Let's see if they're there. With seven seconds to go, they're up. No more movement on the field. Teams are happy to leave Primus. And there's the bell. Match scores coming up in a moment. Once again, everyone, a reminder that after match 14, we'll take a 20-minute field break, and then match 15 will begin in 20 minutes after match 14. So if you need to eat lunch, now is the time to start doing it if you don't have any other scheduled matches. Here comes that score in that match number 11, and it looks like that Red Rockets just ahead of the blue. So the Red Alliance wins 45 to 22.